can see some are fun and not so fun. They can't all be fun and games. Probably my highest high of the summer was my 40th birthday party. A lot of friends and family came over and we watched a movie in the yard. And when I can't actually be with my niece and nephew, we spend a lot of time chatting and playing games on Kid Messenger. One thing I really look forward to every year is meeting up with my whole family to go on a vacation. This year, we went to Rehoboth Beach in Delaware. We played in the sand and the water, took lots of yummy meals together, ate lots of ice cream, and had a ton of fun on the boardwalk. And speaking of family, this is my niece, Cora. She visits for a week every summer. This year we went to the zoo and saw lots of cool animals up close. We went to the Minions movie and splashed around at Great Waves Water Park. The slides are beautiful. Then my nephew Tommy came. He's 10, really into sports. So I took him to a Nationals baseball game, and I was really glad we got to see Soto one last time before he left the town. We went to batting cages, played some basketball, and even raced go-karts. It was about halfway through the summer when the unthinkable happened. It was announced that my favorite ice cream bar was being discontinued and would go away forever. It was all over the news. My favorite frozen treat was about to go away. So I went on a quest to find one final taco taco. I went to grocery stores, nothing. Gas station freezers, nothing. Convenience stores, nope. Even ice cream trucks. I was about to give up hope until there it was in an ice cream vending machine. Finally found one last Choco Taco. It wasn't as good as I remember. <laughs> like I said before, my summer wasn't all fun and games. I had to do some adulting. It was time to refinish and repair my deck. It took a long time and a lot of work, but so worth it in the end. I'm pretty proud of myself. Well, my dog Kiki may have actually had a better summer than me. She turned two years old and got a new toy for her birthday that she loves. She chomped on her favorite treat, some watermelon. Kiki, chew with your mouth closed. Kiki and her best friend Winnie had a lot of play dates too. They love barking at nothing outside the window together. And I'm pretty sure the highlight of Kiki Summer was playing with this cardboard tube that came in the mail. She's so weird. Winnie and Kiki took a lot of walks around the neighborhood, and sometimes Kiki got tired and had to be carried. 
she loves chewing on her favorite bone and relaxing in a swing. She got lots of good pets and belly rubs. But one thing Kiki is really good at after a long day of playing is finding a nice, cozy place to relax. And relax. I'm so glad Kiki had such a relaxing summer.